Today's video, we're gonna be comparing the stock Alpine speakers. So specifically the three tweeters that are in the front. So we're gonna be comparing those with these here. I did this video for you guys a few days ago and you guys really wanted to see me do it in comparison to the Alpine stock speakers. Um, the last ones probably were the lower end model. These are the factory Harman Kardons. I'll link these down below. Um, but these are drop-in speakers that will fit right into the front. So you can see here, this is a Laramie truck, factory Alpine system. So I'm gonna pop out three grills. Uh, we'll do a sound test right before, and I'll swap in three of these. And we'll even do a comparison one by one, and we'll see if we notice a sound difference. And if you're wondering why we did this, when we installed these on our other truck, it was a huge sound difference. It was much louder, a lot more clear sounds. And if you guys know anything about these trucks, after about volume level 25, it kind of doesn't really get any louder. This made our other 8.4 U Connect system with factory amplifier really, really loud. So I'm hoping same results on this. Let's find out. So as far as removing these here, they just pop out with some speed clips. So you just pry out from the back on the two sides. And same with this thing here, get underneath and pry this up. Okay. So that is up. And I don't think these speakers look a whole lot different than those other ones that we took out of our base model tradesman. All right, so I went ahead and popped one of these out for you guys. It doesn't look a whole lot better, to be honest than the one that was in our base model tradesman. Uh, I mean, the magnet's a little bit bigger, but it's still just a paper uh, tweeter on it. And I think the uh, Harman Kardon ones are actually, like they kind of have two. So it's got the smaller tweeter in the center, as you can see. So it's kind of a mid-range, and it also has a tweeter in the middle. So you can see the contacts coming over. So this is gonna give us some, you know, some mids plus our highs as well with the smaller tweeter. So I think this is why this factory one seems to outperform the other factory ones. Um, other thing too is not to play favorites, but even though they're all have the Chrysler logo on the back, you can see where this one says it's made. So factor that in, that one, this one does not say that on it. This one says made in Mexico. So probably a little bit better quality too. Uh, so anyways, I haven't disconnected anything yet. Um, I'm gonna play the same song that I played for you guys on the last truck so you can get a audio comparison. These, this system is not nearly as loud as my Tradesman Express right now with the factory amplifier and the 8.4U connect. That thing is way louder and that only has two doors and seven speakers. This has 12 speakers in it. So this should be louder, but it's not. So hoping we can correct that with this. So let's get that music playing and uh, do our sound comparison. Again, the quality on the copyright free music probably isn't as high as, you know, some of the big names, but here we go. And I'll show you what my sound controls are at. So there's what it sounds like. It doesn't sound bad by any means, but you guys saw there, like I'm sitting in here and I have it completely maxed out and it's not like crazy. It's clean sounding, but it's not like crazy sounding. So let's go ahead. The nice thing about doing this, you guys, is it's all plug and play. It's all factory connector. You don't have to like cut wires and do all that, which I saw some people recommend, you know, some kicker, um, you know, tweeters or mids that you can throw in here, but you know, you would have to cut the connections but these ones you don't, so just a little added perk. Anyways, let's go ahead, swap it out, and see what the difference is. It is super quiet coming out of this thing. I 
even know if you guys really heard me disconnect it because it was barely even a difference. Yeah, it's gonna be the same difference again, you guys. You guys can really hear the difference in the highs. Massive difference, you guys. That's with an unplugged. Start that song again, you guys. So, watch. they are but let's go ahead and move on to the next this is a huge difference you guys I don't I can't even state it enough and probably the audio doesn't do it any justice but huge difference all right and if you guys are wondering as far as taking them out they're held in by two seven mil screws um, some of you can get a quarter inch ratchet with a little socket on and then others you're gonna have to have fun with a seven mil uh, wrench so either way they come out so these two they're probably the hardest because it's uh, right in the front of the windshield here but anyways there's this one let me squeeze that clip we'll get this guy out of here like that and I am going to pretty much guarantee at this point that the sound difference is gonna be huge once again let's do the comparison I might throw a different song on too, just so we can get a few different songs with some different notes going. All right, so I don't even have a center speaker connected. All the sound, there's a ton of sound coming from that one corner with the Harman Kardon speaker. Like, listen. back to the original song with just the two Harman Kardon speakers and the one Alpine in this side.
guys. So hopefully that's coming through on the mic. Let's go ahead and swap out the last one, but this is sounding really, really good. All right, and since I know people were saying in the last video they wanted to see what the ohms were, so I've got here on my ohms reading, we got it on 200, and this is what we have on the factory Alpine, 2.6. Hope you can see that with the all glare, 2.6 is what's coming out to. And if I bring my leads over to here, looks like. 4.4 is where it's measuring out at so a little bit higher ohms so probably where a little bit of our sound increase is coming from but at the same time it is uh sounds a lot better honestly <laughs> i don't know how else to tell you guys it just sounds way better so actually it leveled out at 4.3 so and like i said there is uh a smaller tweeter right in there as well so it's nice that it's kind of got the little mini woofer the little three and a half woofer but then it also has the little tweeter in the center on these whereas this one is just strictly that paper woofer in there so hopefully that answers that question for you guys okay so all the Harman Kardon speakers are in same as last time you guys all the grills fit perfectly so it's the other nice thing I mean one of the things is like if you guys do end up going the aftermarket speaker route is trying to cut connectors in the top of the dash working with your fingertips especially that one not always fun but anyways grills are popped back in she's all looking like factory let's do our final sound test so that is a wrap so again made a big difference even on my laramie it did on our other project trucks so i'm super happy with that like i said i had a few of those speakers left over but you can find them on ebay i had to actually purchase one more and i got it for like 20 bucks so um, it is an option you guys can go out and look for these speakers if you would like to so Hopefully that clears everything up. I am also gonna be testing out some other stuff for you guys. The boys over at Alpine are actually gonna be hooking it up with some speakers for us. So we're gonna be trying out some of their optional speakers and some different stuff. So I'm excited about that. So some more audio stuff coming your way. This truck does like slightly off tangent, but it, it does have this aftermarket kicker. If you guys are ever considering buying it, I honestly don't think it sounds any different than the stock one that was originally on the other side so but nonetheless if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel check out the other videos we've got a ton of content on these trucks at this point in time and we are continuing to make more so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you guys on the next video